how to set up MetaMask wallet. The MetaMask is a browser extension of cryptocurrency wallet that was launched back in 2016. It enables you to access Web3 ecosystem of decentralized application. Hi, if this is the first time you come across this channel, welcome, my name is Lamia, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up and found MetaMask on your browser, how to add network and tokens, and also how to send tokens in and out the wallet. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ping that notification bell. So let's jump right into it. Oh, before we start, I'll be buying different cryptocurrencies as part of this tutorial. Please don't take that as a financial advice or support for these projects. MetaMask supports multiple protocols cross blockchains. It supports over 45,000 coins on the Ethereum ERC20 protocol. It can also store NFTs or non-fungible tokens in the wallets and connect them with marketplace like OpenSea. MetaMask also supports multiple blockchains, including the BNB chain, formerly known as the Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Avalanche, Velas, and several other test blockchains. The downside is that MetaMask doesn't support the world's best known cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. First thing you want to do is to make sure that you are installing the MetaMask from a safe link, which would be metamask.io, as there are a lot of fake URLs out there. I will also leave a link to it in the video description below. So let's start by going to Google and type in metamask.io. And here the first link is usually metamask.io, so make sure it's the correct one. If so, double click. Once you've done that, we will be redirected to this page. Now we can go ahead and click either of the two download button. Let's click on this one. And so the website should automatically detect which browser you are using. Here, install from MetaMask for Chrome in my case. You can install on Google Chrome, Firefox, Brave, Microsoft Edge or Opera as well. There is an iPhone and Android app as well. But since I'm using Google Chrome, by clicking on the install MetaMask for Chrome, it will take me directly to the Chrome Web Store. So I'll click on Add to Chrome. Click on Get Started. This page is asking you to collect your data for improvement purposes. I'm clicking No, thanks. You can either import an existing wallet or create a new wallet. We are going to create a new wallet, so I'll click on create a wallet. Now create a password. Make sure to note it down safely on a piece of paper. This is a MetaMask password. This isn't the recovery phrase or private key for your wallet. This is a secondary MetaMask password that you can use. So I'm writing down my password. Now click on I have read and I agree to the terms of use. Create. So I advise you to watch this video uh, on how to secure your wallet. So once you've done that, click on next. Click here to reveal secret words. This step is the most important. Please pay close attention. If you aren't aware what a seed phrase is, I will explain. A seed phrase is if you lose your computer or if your computer breaks and you no longer have access to your MetaMask account, a seed phrase is what you need to use to get back the crypto that's in that MetaMask wallet. Reminder. These phrases should never be saved on a computer, never take a picture of it, and don't take screenshot, don't show it to anybody. You have to have a backup of these seed phrases in case they get lost or water damage or something like that. So I'm going to write my seed phrases now. Once you have written down your seed phrases, click on next. Now you'll be asked to input the seed phrases to make sure you did it correctly. So click on confirm. Okay. And here we go. Congratulations means we've passed the test and matched all the phrases. And this will create a brand new wallet for us. So click all done. And there you go. You now officially have a MetaMask wallet that will allow you to interact with Web3. Amazing. Just to make it clear, a browser password and a seed phrase, like I mentioned earlier, are two different things. Let's say I have a MetaMask on my iPhone. I can have a different password, but I'm accessing the same wallet as I'm using the same seed phrase. Or let's say if I forgot this password, I can always delete the extension 
and reinstall it. But now you have to select the option of import seed phrases, then create a new password. So the password will only work for that browser extension. But this password is equally important as if anyone sees your password, they can access your MetaMask, but only for that browser where it is installed. MetaMask has launched new feature, which is the beta portfolio. So this portfolio is really helpful. Um, then you can track your tokens and NFTs across all accounts that you have across different networks. I'm going to do a different tutorial regarding this, how to use it and how to access it. Uh, so now just, just close it. Now, first thing we're going to do is to click on setting and let's get everything set up first. So let's click here, click on setting. So from here, you can rename your account. So click on these three dots, uh, account details. Here I've named my account tutorial, so click on here, then you can change the name. So once you've done that, click on this and cross. Now you can see the name of the account here, tutorial. Okay, click here and now let's click on settings. Here you can change your currency conversion, put that to your currency, I use USD. Next is the primary currency, so you can use ETH or fiat. This is to show all the assets you hold on the wallet. You can choose to see the value in ETH or Fiat. I use Fiat as it's easier to understand, so click on Fiat. Now you can choose your current language as well. Metamask supports a lot of different languages. So once we've done, just let's go back to the main page. By default, this is going to be in the Ethereum main net network. But as you interact with cryptocurrency, you will find that different projects run on different networks. So we need to add different networks into MetaMask like Binance Smart Chain or Polygon Matic Chain, Avalanche, Arbitrum, Harmony, Velas, Moonriver and a lot of other chains as well, all compatible with EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine. And the way we do this is by clicking Ethereum Mainnet Add Network. You need to fill in the network name, RPC, URL, chain ID, currency symbol, and block explorer URL before you can add the network. You need to do this for each of the network that you want to add in. And the way you get that info is by going to the project docs of each blockchain and you can find the info or you can Google it. But to make it easier for you, I have put a link in the description below of the network's info for you to copy it, including Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Avalanche, and Phantom. So I'm going to demonstrate how to add Binance Smart Chain Network. So you can Google it. In Google, write down how to connect MetaMask to BNB Smart Chain. So this link is from Binance Academy. So these are the Binance Smart Chain Network info. So we are going to add the main net. So copy the network name. Then copy this URL. So the chain ID is 56. BNB. And this you can leave it empty. And click on save. All right. So you have switched to smart chain. Got it. So this is a different network that we have added, but they are all under the same address as you can see here. The address is still the same, but I'm just in a different network. So this is the smart chain network and this is the Ethereum mainnet network. I can switch to this. So the Ethereum mainnet is an ETH and the smart chain is on BNB, of course. Now I'm going to show you how to add tokens. So the way we add tokens in is by going to trustworthy list like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. Let's go to CoinMarketCap. This is the official website, coinmarketcap.com. Click on here. All right. We are going to add BUSD, which is the stable coin for Binance Smart Chain. So how we do that, we go and search, right, BUSD. And here you can see Binance USD. So this is the page. So click on more. And here you have the BUSD for the Ethereum uh, network. And you have the BUSD for the Binance Smart Chain. And this is what we want. There's also one for Avalanche and Velas, Harmony and more. But we need the BUSD for the Binance Smart Chain. So click on copy address. You can add to MetaMask. If you click here, it will be done automatically. And you can see here it's interacting with our wallet. So we just click on add token. 
go to MetaMask. And then, so by clicking here, it was added automatically. But now we are going to add another coin and we're going to do it in another way. We're not going to click here, we're just going to copy the address. All right, so we are going to add another one. So we are going to add cake. So click on cake. So now click on copy address here. All right, let's go back to our MetaMask here. Import token, here we go. Right click, paste. Here we go, cake. Add, here we go, let's check. And we have our cake here. So we managed to add BUSD and cake. So now let's click on these three dots and click on account details. If anyone want to send you some BNB on the BEP20 smart chain based tokens to your MetaMask account, they can scan this QR code with their smartphone if they have a wallet installed on, or you can copy this address and send it to them. You can also send or transfer tokens to yourself from other wallets or exchanges. Just copy the address and paste it on the withdrawal address on the other service. And this is what we are going to do next. Before we can buy, send or swap any token, we are going to need some BNB token in the wallet to pay for all the transaction fees on the Binance network. For example, if I switch to Ethereum network, which is the default network in MetaMask is set to, we need to have some Ethereum in order to pay for what we call gas fees. Now let's switch again to Binance Smart Chain and buy some BNB. Okay, to buy BNB, you can either buy it from MetaMask by clicking on the buy option. This will give you a couple of options. And the way to do that is from different service providers such as Transact or MoonPay. These may be different depending on where you live. In some countries, this is not supported, but you can use it if you have the option available to you. These are very trusted. They are all third-party services provider. They are not part of MetaMask. They just provide a service. They allow you to exchange fiat to crypto on ramp using your card in exchange of a fee. So what I do, I compare the fees on the different providers. So let's explore the options. So let's see on Transact. So let's see what's the minimum first. Let's try 10. Minimum is 18 pounds. Let's say 100 pounds. All right. So 100 pounds, you have two pound total fees. This is today's BNB rate. So this is what you will receive. You can click on buy now and you have the options for bank transfer, which is usually cheaper. Bank transfer usually takes days. I don't use bank transfers. I usually use this one, this option, which is pay by card. So it's instant. It's, um, you pay a little bit extra, but it's instant. So here it's £4.60. So I can, I can see the difference is double, but it's instant. And uh, let's see the other one. So you click here and that's it. And you can see the average processing time, which is four minutes. Not bad. Excellent. Let's see the other option. And MoonPay. So continue to MoonPay. All right. So with MoonPay, let's see what's the minimum. Let's do 10. All right. So you've got 30 pounds here. This is what I usually use. Um, let's see, 100. That's what you get. So for the MoonPay, the processing fee is £1.97 and the network fee, which is 0 12 The network fee is different from the processing fee. Not bad. So I prefer MoonPay. Yes, the minimum is £30, but you get, you pay less fees and it's instant. But the difference here for the MoonPay, you have to register with them. If you click on continue, so you have to enter your email address and go through some verifications in order to make the payment. So this is the two options we have. The second option is to send the BNB from a centralized exchange like Binance, Gate, KuCoin or Bybit. They are all good. I'll leave some link below if you want to check them out. Or if you want to open an account, I also have a link on how to set up an account with Binance step-by-step -step guide. Now let's log into Binance account and send some BNB from there to MetaMask. Here I'm logged into my Binance account. So I am going to send some BNB from my Binance to MetaMask. Now I want to withdraw BNB. So go and select on withdraw. So we need our address from MetaMask in order to send the BNB from here to our MetaMask. So we need the MetaMask address. Let's go to MetaMask and copy the address. So we are back to MetaMask. Let's copy the address. Click on copy, it's copied. Okay, so I'm gonna paste the address here. Right click, paste. So the address is here. Make sure it's the correct address. 
So here you have to be very careful to use the correct network, otherwise you will lose your money. But if we are using the smart chain on MetaMask, the only network we can use is the Binance Smart Chain BEP20. So select that one. So here just put the amount you want. I'm going to put max. And if you are transferring big amount, I always suggest you send small amount first and then send the big transaction. All right, so I'll click on withdraw and let's click on confirm. Click on continue. So here put the verification code that's been sent to your, to your phone and get code for the email and submit. So I'll click on complete. Now, if you want to check the confirmation, so just click here, all the withdrawal details. So it's processing, the dates, spot wallets, coin is BNB and everything. Now, if you have done everything right, allow a few minutes for the BNB to come over to your MetaMask account. Let's go and check now. Okay, so the BNB is here, 0 0.3. Now that I have some BNB on my account, I'm going to show you how to connect the application and use them. So right now we have only two chains on our MetaMask. So let's switch to the Ethereum one. All right, so now let's go over to SushiSwap. This is just an example. There are many others, but this is a good example to link one application and change too many chains. So now let's go to SushiSwap. The best way to connect to SushiSwap is through CoinMarketCap. So let's go to CoinMarketCap and click on SushiSwap. Here we go. So from here, go to website. Here we go. We are in SushiSwap. All right. So enter app. And let's connect the app. So connect the app. Click here. So we're using MetaMask. Now you can see Ethereum is on the top. So I'm using the Ethereum mainnet from my MetaMask. You can send switch any of this supported chain if you have them on your MetaMask. So this is the chains. So we have Avalanche, Phantom, Polygon, Arbitron, Binance, and so on. Let's go back to PancakeSwap. That's the main DEX for Binance. And again, so let's go to CoinMarketCap, PancakeSwap, and go here, connect, go to trade, swap, and you can swap from here. So we're going to swap BNB. So I'm swapping BNB uh, to cake. Cake. We're going to get one cake. So swap. Confirm swap. So now it's going to come up with some confirmation. Let's click confirm. Click add to wallet if you don't have the coin on your wallet. But we already have the cake on our wallet. So we don't need to close. And let's go and check the cake on our wallet. And you can see we bought one cake. If you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like it. It will really help the channel to grow. I'm Lamia from Web3Crypto and see you in the next one.